Hi, and welcome to today's video. I'm Prof. Omar, and we'll be talking about the GRE math subject test problem, which asks, determine the value of C, unique positive value of C, for which the equation log X equals C X to the fourth has a unique solution. So at face value, it doesn't seem like we can actually solve an equation like this. Uh, so we can try to find some intuition maybe by looking at the graphs of these functions and seeing if we can get additional information to do something with this. So here I've drawn heuristics of the graphs of the two functions. Here we have y equals log x. And then here we have y equals cx to the fourth for a positive value of c. And here's an intersection point. I'll abuse notation and let its x-coordinate be x. We don't necessarily know what its y-coordinate is. So if you look at the picture, we know that we have the inter that they intersect here, so we get an equation like this. But we wonder, is there more information we can get from the picture that'll give us maybe another equation to work with? And there is. If we look at the tangent line here, you notice that the slope of the tangent at this point, actually the tangent line itself, has to be the same for the two functions. So the slopes the slope of the tangents has to be the same as well. And the slope of the tangents at this point x is the derivatives of the two functions evaluated at x. So if we differentiate these, thinking about them as functions of x, they're actually equal at this point that we're interested in. So 1 over x equals 4 cx cubed is another equation for us to work with. So I'll rearrange this so it looks a little bit more like this right-hand side. We can move this x here to get cx to the fourth and move the four there. So if we do that, we'll get a fourth is cx to the fourth. And now we're happy because we have that log x is a fourth. If log x is a fourth, then that means that x is e to the fourth. And now we can use any one of these equations to figure out what x is. This one seems a little bit simpler, so I'll use that. If we rearrange that one, we'll get that c is 1 over 4 times x to the fourth. x to the fourth here is e, so we get 1 over 4e. All right, cool. So I think the moral of the story here is when we start this problem, it seems like we don't have enough information to go about figuring out what this value of c is. Uh, but once we look at the geometry of what's going on, we get more intuition as to what we can do. And that's a big part of the GRE math subject test is moving between different modes of mathematics in order to figure out enough information to answer the problem that is at hand. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel.